we are just on our way to the skateboard cart here in Sapa, which is kind of exciting because I'm ready to see these amazing views that I can see from my window. So we just got these tickets to go there and actually they were pretty expensive. 850 Vietnamese dong, that means that was about like 30 pounds per person. But anyways, currently I'm waiting for this train that is going to take us up to the cable cut and then we're going to take the cable cut. Hi everybody, my name is Miriam and I'm currently traveling full time with my baby daughter Arella and my boyfriend Josh. My current motive in life is to explore the world, try new vegan food and learn about people's culture and do this all while raising a baby. Want to join me on my journey? Then subscribe to my channel right now and press that bell icon down below. So the train is just arriving. Wow, actually looks really modern, don't you think? Yeah, it looks really modern. I wasn't expecting this, innit? I know, it's super clean. So this is inside the train right now. As you can see, there is not a lot of people, like, at all. amazing trip we've seen some amazing views literally almost like nothing I've ever seen in my life because even though there's just mountains and you see mountains in a lot of viewpoints there's rice fields too that make like layers and it just looks super amazing and actually when we were driving as well I saw like a random buffalo like on the edge of the cliff and then you see like people working hard in the fields which is just super cool and it gives you like a perspective on the Vietnamese lifestyle here in Vietnam. And now we're on our way to the cable cut. Arella! So we are literally right now at the top of this giant mountain. It's super windy here, but the views are absolutely incredible. We are about to take the cable cut very soon, but right now we are just admiring the views here. I don't know if you can hear the wind, but it's super strong. But like, look where we are! So this is this incredible view and down there we can see the cable cuts. I don't know if you can see it from this perspective, but it's super cool. So now we are about to get on the cable cart and it's just literally behind us so let's go area and first thing that I can see is some restaurants and some shops you can buy a lot of kind of like souvenirs and stuff like that from 
up here. Uh, to be honest with you, you can't really see anything because it's really hazy. And there is a lot of clouds up here. As you can see, it's pretty strange. Like I've never seen anything like that in my life. It's like a giant fog just traveling up in this hill. Yesterday, the hills and mountains were covered in clouds. Today, it seems really clear compared to yesterday. But still, the bronze buddha and oh my gosh look at these walls they are like marble they're so beautiful and the texture oh my gosh it's so soft and so smooth the side of these buildings looks incredible and in the middle there's like a statue buddha statue Jolina, you did miss out on the view, but you didn't miss out on the call, so don't worry. Right. Arella was sleeping too, and she wouldn't have slept if she was out there. Exactly, and I think it was pretty cold for Arella, especially for the fact that we didn't really have clothes for her for like a massive wind and massive coldness. But, anyways, let's go back now. Mm -hmm. 